Hi everyone, I'm Josie Weiss and today we're going to be reading Disney Pixar's A Bug's Life. Have you ever wondered what all those little ants do when they're not crawling onto your feet? <laughs> well now we're going to find out. Down under our feet, in among the clover and grass, there's another world. It's a tiny world, but it has mighty tales to tell. Do we have enough food for the offering? Princess Atta asked nervously. A young ant named Flick rushed up. Look, princess, he cried, an automatic harvester. Atta glanced at the queen. Now what? Just pick grain like everyone else, Flick, she said. We don't have time for one of your inventions. But Atta's little sister, Dot, liked Flick. She thought he was special. Dot always went to Flick with her problems. My mum always says I'm too little to do things, she complained. You won't always be little, Flick pointed out. He showed her a rock. Pretend this is a seed. Give it time and it will be a tree. Just give yourself time. Dot knew the seed was a rock. You're weird, she replied, but I like you. Suddenly, the alarm sounded. The frightened ants scattered. The queen took charge and urged everyone into the ant hill. Quickly, dear, she told Dot. Hey, wait for me, Flick called. But his wonderful harvester knocked the legs out from under the offering stone. All the grain the ants had collected rolled off the cliff and disappeared. As the ants trembled in their anthill, the grasshopper gang burst through the ceiling. Where's my food? Hopper demanded, grabbing Dot. If you don't keep your end of the bargain, someone could get hurt. Flick didn't think twice. Leave her alone, he demanded. One sharp look from Hopper silenced Flick. Then Hopper dropped Dot. I want double the order of grain. When the last leaf falls, he snarled. Once Hopper left, Atta and the council were ready to banish Flick forever. But Flick had an idea. We could get bigger bugs to fight the grasshoppers, he shouted. I'll go to the city and find them. Surprisingly, Atta and the council accepted his offer, but only to get rid of him. Dot and a couple of ant boys followed Flick to the edge of Ant Island. My dad says you're going to die, one of the boys sneered. He's not going to die, Dot stated. He's going to get the bestest, roughest bugs ever, she waved as Flick sailed away on a dandelion puff. Far from Ant Island, near the city, P.T. Flea had to do something fast. The audience wasn't laughing at his circus. Flaming death, the desperate circus manager announced. The act went all wrong. The circus bugs scrambled around trying to put out the fire, but P.T. ended up barbecued. The audience loved it. P.T. fired all his performers anyway. The circus bugs were sitting in a bug bar, wondering what to do next. All of them needed new jobs. Rosie the spider and her beetle, Steed, Dim, Slim, the walking stick, and Heimlich the caterpillar, Tuck and Roll the pill bug acrobats, Francis the ladybug, Manny the mantis magician, and his moth assistant, Gypsy. Then some rowdy flies picked a fight with Francis. A little later, Flick arrived in the city. What a place! Surely he would find bugs rough enough to stand up to Hopper. When Flick walked in on the fight, the small troop of circus bugs looked like the winners. Flick started clapping. I've been scouting for bugs with your talent, he told them. Could you help my ant colony? 
The circus bugs thought he was a talent scout. Explain on the way there, Slim suggested. This is too good to be true, Flick said to himself. The next morning, Flick and the circus bugs approached Ant Island. Dot was the first to spot them. Flick! I knew you could do it, she shouted. But the other ants were afraid of the big, rough bugs. We're losing the job, Slim worried. Francis made an announcement. When your grasshopper friends get here, we're going to knock them dead, he bragged. So, Princess Atta, what do you think? Flick asked her. We're ants. We don't fight grasshoppers, she answered. No, but they will, he told her, pointing to the circus bugs. The colony gave the circus bugs a welcome banquet. The ants' children performed a play about the coming battle with Hopper. You mean, that's us fighting? Rosie whispered. Don't watch, Slim warned Heimlich. Rosie tried to get Flick's attention, but he was busy making a speech. Flick, Rosie hissed. We're circus performers. Flick followed the circus bugs away from the banquet. Circus bugs, he yelled. You said you were going to knock the grasshoppers dead. You said you were a talent scout, Manny accused. The circus bugs took off, hoping to find a new gig. Flick grabbed Slim. Don't go, he begged. They'll call me a loser. The circus bugs were trying to pull Flick away from Slim when Flick suddenly turned and sprinted away, yelling, Run! A bird rose up from the grass behind Flick. Screaming, all the bugs scrambled to find a place to hide. The screams brought the ants to the cliff. Atta spotted the circus bugs running from the bird. Then she saw her little sister, Dot, had followed Flick, and now she was directly in the bird's path. Francis couldn't let Dot be hurt. He caught her, but they both tumbled into a crack in the riverbed. The bird knocked stones into the crack. One stone broke Francis's leg. Another knocked him out. Then the bird began pecking at the crack. Flick quickly thought up a plan. Slim held up the tasty-looking Heimlich to distract the bird while the other bugs flew to the rescue. How brave, one of the council members murmured. As the others placed Francis in Rosie's net, Flick comforted Dot. His plan was working as smoothly as spider silk. Dim was lifting this rescue party out of the crack when the birds saw them. Good old Dim came through. He zipped into a thorny bush where the bird couldn't follow. Then Flick and the circus bugs heard a strange sound. What's that? Heimlich wondered. It was applause. The whole ant colony was cheering wildly for the brave bugs who had saved their precious little princess Dot. Later, Atta took Flick aside. When you brought them here, I thought you'd hired a bunch of clowns, she said. But they were so brave. Not every bug would face a bird. Even Hopper's afraid of birds. Flick felt an idea coming on. Flick's plan was simple. Build a bird to scare off Hopper and his gang. He got Manny to present the plan to the council. Atta and the council loved it. The ants and circus bugs worked together. Little by little, the bird was shaped by leaves and twigs, spider's web and snail shell. Everyone felt upbeat. The grasshopper's next visit would be very different. Atta was proud to be part of a plan that would defeat the grasshoppers. It was all thanks to the warrior bugs and to Flick, who had found them. Finally, ever so carefully, the ants and warrior bugs raised the bird into the tree where it would await Hopper's arrival. A cheer went up. They were ready to rumble. Meanwhile, the grasshopper gang was hanging out 
south of the border, a couple of Hopper's thugs didn't want to return to Ant Island. They convinced Hopper's brother, Malt, to present their case to the leader. Hopper was furious. He buried the mutineers under a pile of grain. Then he snarled, those ants outnumber us. We can't let them figure that out. We got to remind them who's boss. Now, let's ride. The grasshoppers took off for Ant Island. Later that evening, Flick offered the circus bugs a chance to leave before the grasshoppers showed up. Dim don't want to go, the rhino beetle announced. The others quickly agreed. The circus bug warriors were staying. Suddenly, an ant scout spotted someone approaching, but it wasn't the grasshoppers. It was P.T. Flea. He was looking for his circus bugs. Flick tried to keep the secret, but the ants realised that their brave warriors were circus bugs. Hopper would be there soon, and they had no food. The queen told the circus bugs to go away. Atta told Flick to leave too. Dot wanted to follow them, but her mother held her back. All too soon, the ants heard the grasshoppers approaching. Mother, Atta gasped desperately, what can we do? Both of them knew that Hopper would be furious. Hopper was furious. No ant sleeps until we get every scrap of food, he snarled. While Dot was hiding from the grasshoppers, she learned Hopper's real plan. Work them till they're dead, one of his thugs sniggered. Then we squish the queen. Dot had to get help. Away she went, looking for Flick and the circus bugs. She found them feeling sorry for themselves. You gotta help us, she gasped. Hopper's gonna squish my mum. The circus bugs wanted to help. They tried to convince Flick that his bird idea would work, but he didn't agree. Dot knew what Flick needed. Pretend it's a seed, she said, showing him a stone. Flick smiled. All right, he cried. We'll do it. Flick and Dot slipped into the blueberry hideout, ready to make some grasshoppers cry, Flick asked the ant children. It's payback time, blueberry style, Dot promised. At a signal from Gypsy, the birds sprang from the knot hole. From inside the cockpit, the screams of Flick and the blueberries were amplified into the terrifying screech of a real bird. The grasshoppers dived for cover. The circus bugs and the ants reinforced the grasshoppers' terror with berry juice. Blood! They had Hopper fooled until P.T. Flea, trying to save them, set the bird on fire. When Flick and the blueberries bailed, Hopper knew he'd been tricked. Hopper turned on Flick. You're losers, he raged. Flick stood up to him. You're wrong, he shouted back. Inspired by Flick, the ants and circus bugs charged. Soon, the grasshoppers were in retreat and Hopper stood alone. Sadly, huge drops of rain began crashing down. As everyone ran for cover, Hopper took Flick hostage. The circus bugs chased Hopper, but they couldn't catch him. At the last minute, Atta snatched Flick away. Hopper was furious. Flick and Atta flew to the other side of the river. Then Flick lured Hopper towards a nest. The bird rose up with a screech. Hopper thought this was another of Flick's tricks, but he was wrong. And that was the end of Hopper. Soon it was spring. With the queen retired, Princess Atta was now Queen Atta. Her sister Dot now wore the princess crown and her special friend Flick held an honoured place as the colony's official inventor. As the circus brothers left on tour, they all felt happy. Never again would the ant colony have to worry about going hungry. 
their courage had finally freed them from the greedy grasshopper gang. Thanks for watching everyone, what a cool story. Well, I'll see you next time. Make sure you hit like and subscribe for more videos. Bye!